All right, I'm making this video about the, uh, um, this is an MEP 802 Alpha. Uh, video will also apply to a 803 Alpha. Um, it's to check inside your panel here for some modifications that should be done to it. Um, over here in the voltage regulator, as you can see mine has this little fuse on the side, fuse holder that's put in line, and then also this little blue disc. The fuse holder on the left hand side, that's called the um, Excite Circuit Fuse Modification. And what you, um, this is actually directed to be put in starting around 2009 or 10 for issues with troops fixing the stator uh, in the generator head because they kept going bad one after another. And what the actual problem is, is the voltage regulator goes bad. Um, and this protects that from happening. Um, also what can happen is you have a mechanical frequency adjust on these. If under really high current, say you're running this thing right up at the max, like the 30 amps that it will put out at 240 volts, um, the voltage regulator will try really hard to make up for it and that could actually blow your stator too. Having this fuse in there protects it. Um, do have a couple part numbers for you. It's just going to be the fuse holder that you see there and the fuse itself. Um, the fuse holder part number is L60030. M1 SQ and the fuse which is a 3 amp time delay is part number FNQ R 3. Definitely want to make sure that's done and also this little blue disc is a varistor. Um, the metal oxide varistor modification is what it's officially called and what you'll see it abbreviated as is MOV mod. Um, and what that protects is the diode bridge in the regulator. Apparently in the regulator, the way they were made, they didn't put enough of a diode in the circuitry, in the circuit board that's in this regulator. And if you have other problems, this protects that from going really bad, then blowing the voltage regulator, which then if this fuse is not in there, could blow your stator or you could keep blowing this fuse. So it's kind of like another backup. Um, part number for that that you want to search is just 14D151K. And you're not going to, I mean, you might be able to find a single one somewhere. But um, usually they're like a 5 or a 10 pack. Uh, not a very expensive modification. Then obviously you'll need a little bit of wire um, and some crimpers and whatnot to get it put back together. Splice in real quick here. I forgot to explain actually how this is installed. But uh, this is your wire right here. That's um, on the outgoing side of the fuse that originally was connected to eight. So you make a little jumper from eight to the top of the fuse and you attach it. And then the varistor just goes between eight and seven and your little Connections here, loosen them, just stick the two poles on each side of it, tighten them back down. And then what you can actually do, if you can see, is the fuse holder just gets mounted with one of the existing screws for the voltage regulator. And I believe that's a captive nut behind this wall, this panel. So you don't need to worry about it falling out. Should take a couple minutes for you to just kind of pay attention to what you got to do there. And, uh, take care of it but yeah definitely make sure that's a modification done to your generator and it probably wouldn't hurt to have you know one or two of those fuses and varistors on hand in case for whatever reason they go bad I'm gonna actually get some myself and keep them on my trailer here to go with my trailer that I'm building up um, I just stumbled upon both those modifications needing to be done. Uh, the fuse mod was already done on my generator when I got it, but not the varistor. So I just put the varistor on actually today. And I got all this information from the Steel Soldiers form. Uh, I'll put a link to my 
thread that I have on there. Uh, this information was kind of spread all over the website and I just wanted to consolidate it into one quick video. So if you hear about it and then you go search, well, what the hell is this MOV mod or this fuse mod that needs to be done to protect the generator? Well, you'll hopefully this video will get viewed enough times you can find it. Here's your part numbers and whatnot and, uh, and to help you out.